Uh, Charlotte's here from Watch It at, uh, at Bayshore. Good, uh, I'm a good customer of yours, actually. I'm in there all the time. I love the watches and the sunglasses. You, uh, you guys got Oakley and all the, all the uh, sunglasses anyone Spy, can buy. Spy, Ray-Ban, yeah, yeah Arnett, yeah. yeah. We're gonna yeah. talk more watches right now because uh, for people headed down south and so on, there are lots of great sporty watches, but you wanna make sure you get the right one for uh, the conditions you're headed to, right? Exactly. So a, a lot of people think that they should ask for a waterproof watch, and what they're looking for is water resistancy. And water resistancy varies. So uh, it, on the back of your watch, it'll say how water resistant it is. For beach wear, you probably want, and swimming, you want a water resistant watch to, of 100 meters. Oh, okay. And if you're doing true diving, 200 meters up. So most people think that when they're looking for a water resistant watch, they're looking for something that's pretty traditional, yeah. like this uh, Swiss Army, which is actually water resistant to um, 500 meters. Oh. And this is a true professional dive. It'll give you depth, wa uh, depth display as well. And that's a Citizen Eco Drive. Um, there's another uh, beautiful Swiss Army watch too. Oh, I like the red. That's yeah. Nice. So yeah. these are actual professional watches, but we wanted to show that you could actually have some fun and have some really nice, colorful watches that will still give you that 100 meters water resistance. Right. So I I've got some uh, Nixon rubber players, so great for dirt, sand, whatever. They're water resistant to 100 meters, nice and bright. Right. We just got in this cool new line that's a Canadian company called Momentum, and they do oh, some nice. really fun color colorful watches, like even for women, which I find is a harder market to find cute dive watches. They've right. got them in different colors, pinks, purples. Um, so they do the nice dive watches with a little bit of color. Uh -huh. Even Casio does this cool watch that's 200 meters water resistant. The G-Shocks are awesome. This little G-Shock by Casio actually has a tide um, graph on it. So you know when the tide's coming in, when really? the tide's coming out for 200 beaches, which is pretty yeah. amazing. Here's the uh, same uh, thing in white, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then there's a Nixon uh, 5130 which is just awesome and it's got a tide meter on it too it was originally de designed for a tide competition and got so people got so excited so they make them in a variety of different colors some with a little bit of bling and then there's the the new rubber uh 5130 that they just brought yeah. in too okay well, and you brought josh along right I did. josh actually it has this watch on correct he has uh, a ceramic similar. version yeah, to it so similar watch and that's the nixon so we want to test it Right? Sure. Yeah, so let's get uh, Josh. You're going in the kiddie pool, my friend. Uh, right. <laughs> right over there. Back. You're my lifeguard. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna watch you. Right. Okay. So uh, they're gonna put the watch in the water, and you you know you're playing around the water like you would with the kids or whatever. Exactly. Uh, and you want to make sure that uh, you know you're not gonna damage your nice uh, Nixon watch. Exactly. exactly. This is ceramic. It doesn't actually scratch too. Right. It has, it has a, a sapphire crystal on it too. So yeah, I can go anywhere. It doesn't matter if I rub it against anything. It's right. not gonna scratch. Right. Um, at all. So it's like ceramic floor. So I'm out front. That's awesome. So. What Josh is telling us here, basically, Charlotte, is that uh, it not only uh, it, it, you know does water not affect the watch, yeah. but playing around and having a good time in the water exactly. doesn't affect the watch. Exactly. Because right? oftentimes you end up with a scratch or something, or, and, and it, it's so disappointing. It is. Right? It is. The water didn't affect it, but everything else did. Exactly. And in this case, it's, it's uh, a ceramic, so it really uh, keeps that whiteness, too, forever. Yeah. Oh, is and, that right? Yeah. And then it also, as he said, resists scratching. Yeah. So it's, I'm a fan of the big white watch, too. Oh, it's yeah. become a real fashion thing. It has. Uh, I, very I, much like so. Our, uh, our boy uh, has our one here. Zach yeah. has one on right yeah. now. A big white Pretty watch. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and all kinds of styles and selection, right? Uh, yes, definitely. This is just a small sampling of what we carry at our location, and then we also brought in some sunglasses to show that you can really mix things up. You want to have good proper uh, eye protection as well. Um, when when you're on the beach, you want to make sure your eyes are protected too. Right. So we've and got when, when you're doing that, uh, Charlotte, what should you think about in terms of uh, UV protection when it comes to glasses? Well, fortunately, uh, there's rules and regulations in Canada that uh, pretty much insist that all of them have UVA, UVB protection. So all the sunglasses that we do yeah. sell have that. As well, there are polarized lenses, too, which prevent glare from coming up. Yeah. And uh, good sunwear stops um, 
eye uh, damage yeah, later exactly. on in life, exactly. right? Like cataracts and exactly. macular de degeneration. Listen, thanks uh, for coming by today. We're out of time, but I Perfect. tell you what, uh, do yourself a favor, folks. Go out in to watch it in Bayshore, and uh, they got really helpful staff there, and that's one of the things I like about your shop is that Thank you'll you. come over and really help out people, and uh, they will not let you, Leanne, go home with the wrong sunglasses on your head. <laughs>